Hello friends. After watching my previous video, I hope now you would have some idea what are roles. In this video, we will use folders what we create using roles to have some variable information in those folders. From previous few videos, you know that this is one of the playbook what we use to create the volume. In this playbook, we have hard coded different information like volume name, B server name, and credentials, access, etc. We, we will try to move these information in different folders under different files. Uh, and those files are going to be uh, variable files which will contain only the variable information. And we will get those variable information in the main file in this volume.yml file and we will try to run this volume.yml file and we will try to create same volumes. In order to do that, I have two or three different folders. I am not separating tasks right now, but I will be only separating variables. To separate the variables, I have created two different kind of variable folders. One is default variables and a second is vars which contains different variables. Default variables has these variables which are like vserver, aggr1 and gb. Why I am calling them as default variables? In most of the cases I know that my vserver name is not something which is going to change commonly. Same goes with aggregate. In most of the cases we don't know, we know that aggregate name is not going to change. And GB is one of the form which we can use all the time to create the volume. So any volume size we can define using gigabyte and our volume will be created in different gigabyte size. Now let's talk about volume wars file. So this file will actually contains the variable name. So it, this file will contain the variable name and those variable name will be passed here under the name and it will whatever would be the value of the file of the variable name in the volume wars file that same name volume will be created under simulator. Another file which I have is called credentials. So host name, uh, username and password, uh, this I have put in the credentials file. This credential file uh, I have though put it right now under the var folder, but you can keep it under the defaults as well. So, because uh, these are some of the variables values which you know does not change very frequently. You, you can play around with this by keeping these values under default for file. Now let me show you how I'm going to call them. To include these files, I have to first define the path for these files. And to define the path, we will use the keywords keyword called vars underscore file. We know one file is under, two files are under vars, one is credential dot yml, another is vars and is under vars it is volume wars dot yml there is another file which is under defaults and that fault file is default wars dot yml so now in this 
portion of the code we are telling ml file that our variable files are located in these two different folders and the name of the files is this we will use name here as variable as we you have seen in jinja to templating section that this this is how we do the ginger 2 templating and this is how we call different variables so if you have not watched that video please go and watch my ginger 2 video ginger 2 video and you will see what is uh, you will get to know about this more we will come on this um, or let me just explain you how it works so uh, if you know about yaml um, architecture and if you have some idea about python in yaml and uh, python also you can say that these are basically a directory structure which contain the key and then the value and the key and then the value and whenever uh, this key has dash in front of the value then it becomes the list so basically it is something like you have these different values which in python if you need to write them you can write them something like this And if you can recall it, this can become one of the directory structure in Python. But if you try to write same here for the list and directory, so you can call this something like So now you can see uh, this is basically the directory structure uh, um, and dictionary structure I'm sorry and and this is uh, the list structure so YAML uh, uh, file is always generally written in the dictionary and the list format so you can see uh, this is one of the list and when we need to pass the list variable or the value in the list so we need a loop for that so same way in this uh, file we will use a loop which we discussed before using the keyword called with underscore items and that loop will have this format wall underscore name wall underscore name is th this value which is coming here so basically we are telling a ml file that uh, use the the list values from this variable and run it in the loop and pass it here under the names items now uh, let me change the v server so v server information is under default wars and vserver name is still vserver so we not need to do anything and we, we will just remove vserver1 from here and we will put it into the codes aggregate name is aggr so the variable name is aggr1 it's very simple change it to aggr1 size unit is size unit we will call it size unit and we will change GB to our variable name and variable name will be this now from credentials uh, I'm going to change all this information also so it's again same and very simple it's going to be host name
username password let me just check it and then i will explain you one more time so we have our bars and let me see if the everything is spelling and all correct i don't want it to fail wars credentials dot yml then we have wars volume wars dot yml then default wars dot yml everything looks good so far then we have a task where we have item which is going to show us the value for pass the value for the volume name b server then we have aggregate which is going to pass the aggregate name size is going to be one size is, is going to be gb okay here also we need to change it and that name here is going to be not this but item because we are using item here and that's going to be our volume name so uh, this playbook so far looks good let me save this and let me try to run this one more time okay so seems like uh, i think i this is what is not aligned properly yeah let me save it one more time let me try to run it and i guess it is aligned now this is on four this is on five and this is on four let me put it on five yeah now i think it should work okay so now you can see that uh, two volumes are created you ansible or two and or three let me see those volumes wall show you can see uh, ansible wall 2 and ansible wall 3 which were uh, in our uh, variable file these two names were already there in our variable files and those two volumes is now created on simulator so uh, now you know how to uh, pass the variables using different variable files and how you can keep them separate uh, this uh, feature or this feature of the role uh, is important for us in the way that you definitely don't want to show the credentials to everybody so you can have this credential file in a separate folder and you can have uh, uh, limited access for this credential file and still use it in your um, in your yaml file main yaml file same way uh, the another idea which you can use that if you want to automate um, it some way that you can do it this way that you have only variable names here and you come up with some kind of programming that every time you up update this information here this name here and you uh, update take for example you can take size also in variable and you update the size so every time you update this information using some kind of shell pro bash programming or uh, python programming and then run this uh, playbook then it will automatically create those uh, volumes with what are there in this uh, the, those names what are there in this file so uh, this is one of the step uh, towards the automation where we are where we want to go and uh, we will see more about this um, how how we can use these features more so just uh, keep watching keep learning and uh, also don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you